Now, welcome back to this channel once again, Vadekames. Uh, I am privileged to be on your screens once more. Before we proceed, if you are new here, just subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, and also share. Alright, in today's video, we are going to look at something so uh, very important, something that is so exciting, something that is very educative and very informative. Today, we are looking at various months in the every language and what they mean. The Ewes are one of the strongest and intelligent tribe in Ghana. We are looking at the Ewe calendar. Ewe let you. That is what we are looking at today in this video. So, in every tribe, they have their own ways of calculating the days and months in the past before these modern days of doing things are now incorporated and accepted across the globe. The Aves have agreed with other tribes in Ghana to have seven days as the number of days in a week. That's why we are having seven days as one week. The Aves refer to Monday as Joda, Tuesday as Blada, Wednesday as Kuda, Thursdays as Yaoda, Fridays as Fida, Saturday as Memlida, Sunday as Koshida. Now, we know in a month there are four weeks. So, in the ordinary calendar, January is January. December is December. Uh, let's look at uh, what January is in the every calendar and what it means. In the every calendar, January is called Jove. 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 This is the month of January where heat is experienced. The month is full of heat, hence the name. A juva, a juva. That means heat has come. In fact, the atmosphere over here, as we speak, is very hot. The weather is very hot. So, if our forefathers agree to name the month January as juva, then it means that they are right. As I sit here under this tree just enjoying the breeze if I walk out or if I take a step out from where I am currently the heat is going to uh, torture me a bit uh, so I also agree with our forefathers for uh, naming uh, January as Jove all right so now let's look at February in February in the every calendar is called Joje. Joje. There is a town also called Joje. Yeah, when you come to the Volta region, there is a town called Joje. But I don't know if that Joje is the same as the word we have on the calendar. But let's look into it. Alright, so Joje is the second month of the year. And this time around, any mistake made with fire can cause fire outbreak. This is also the time when farmers burn down forests to clear the land for farming activities. Yeah, so in this month, everywhere becomes very dry due to the heat and then the hamatan. So, any little mistake with fire, as you've already heard, can cause a lot of havoc. So this is the time we we, we normally experience uh, fire uh, getting into people's farmlands and then destroying uh, maybe some crops which have not been harvested yet. So this time around the weather is very dry and very hot as well. Okay, so 
I also agree with uh, our forefathers for uh, giving the name Georgia to to this particular man. The Jo Georgia over here it means Georgia. Aha, uh -huh. do you get it? A Jo, a Jebe, a lo Jo Jave, so Georgia. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. The third month, which is March, in the Hebrew calendar, it is called the Dohe. The Dohe. This name was given to the month because during this time, the host left after uprooting yam, get filled by planting another yam. Therefore, the name in Eve is coming from the sentence. At the dohe, this is the exact time the planting of yam begin. So March is so March, which is the dohe, is the month where they begin to plant yam. All right. Then from there we go to April in the Eve calendar is Afofie. 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 Afo is leg. Afo is leg. So Afofie. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at the meaning. Um, this means that your feet bends. This means that your feet bends. This is because during this time, there is more heat prior to the main raining season. Therefore, the name Afofie means burning of the feet as a result of sunshine. Yeah, I talk to you all over the dome. Nanyi ba jojoa. Afo lanya. If the ground is hot, the leg will definitely know. Okay. So from Afofie, we go to Dame. Dame. Dame is May. May. Alright, so Dame is the month in which the first farming season begins officially. Dame is the month in which the first farming season begins officially. If you come to the Avery land, we have two farming seasons in a year. Dame and then Kele. Uh, so Dame, that is the first farming season. And then uh, it is because rain during this time is very heavy. Okay, so from May going, the rain comes very heavy. So that is when the first farming season begins. Then from May you come to June, and June in the Eve calendar is called Massa. Massa Dame Massa Massa. So in this month, most of the farming activities are done. All farm works, such as weeding, spraying, is done in this month. However, the reason behind this month is that a particular tree has its flowers in this month. The name of the tree is what is used to name a month massa all right so in this month weeding is done spraying is done all farming activities are done you go to july and july is siam lom siam lom siam lom siam lom is another month in the every calendar which is mostly experienced in July. The name as a result of farmers drying their farm produce and collecting it due to frequent rains. The word simply means dry and collect. Siam long, dry and collect. And in every sentence it goes as Siam long. Now we go to the next month which is De Asiamine. De Asiamine. That is Agus. Agus is Dasiamine. Here comes the month of joy in the Ebe language. The name came as a result of the 
of prolonged hunger during the farming season. The name means put your hand in oil, which is an adage telling you that food is now in excess. Food is now in excess. It is written as De Asi Amime. This is the month of August where crops are harvested from the farm. I believe we are learning something new. Don't keep it to yourself. I want you to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And also tap on the like button. The more you tap on the like button, we get discovered on YouTube and a lot of people come to learn what you are also learning. And don't forget to share as well. Let's continue. The next month, which is September, in the every calendar, it is called Anyonyo. Anyonyo. The name is given to this month because this is where little rain starts prior to the minor season. Echi le nyonyom. Echi le nyonyom. Simply put, it is drizzling. The month is September in the English calendar. Okay, now we come to October. Kele. This month is the minor season, which is October. This time, rains are not heavy. Therefore, the name Kele means. Therefore, the name Kele means that if you didn't hurry up your farming. The rain will stop. The rain will stop. In the language, the sentence in which it was captured from is Echi Akelebo. Echi Akelebo. Hence the name Kele. And November in the Hebrew calendar is Adam Poche. Adam Poche. That is November. This month is usually experienced in November to. December. This is the time when fogs keep moving, making it difficult for viewing from afar. The Avis gave the name to this month as hunters find it difficult to see birds. It is written as Adela Makbo O. Adela Makbo O. Adela That is November. This is as a result of uh, fog. And this time around, too, the Hamatan is there. So, uh, because of the fog, you find it difficult to see or even watch something from afar. That is the reason behind the naming of this month as Adam. Okay. okay, then from there, we go to December. December is the 12th month. Okay, so we go to December. Another month in every calendar which is Jume, and December is Jume, okay, which means in hotness, in hotness, Jume, in hotness. This month is also experienced between December and January. The name is given as a result of no or fewer rains, no or fewer rains, making heat to dominate the land. All right, so that is it about December. Now, the 13th month, which is of much importance to me and to us is Poivre. Poivre, that is the 13th month. It's not on the English calendar. So we don't have a name for it in English. But Poivre means clear the forest or clear the bush poivre all right so the last month in the every language is poivre this is the time that you are expected to clear the forest as a new farming season is about to kick off the main sentence in every is written as poivre poivre this month is just a brief period starting from 
February to March. All right, so I believe you have learned something new. That is about the 13 months in the Ava calendar. The English calendar is only 12 months, but in the Ava calendar, it's 13. So I believe you have learned something very, very, very new and very, very important. Okay, don't be selfish. Please share with your friends. Click on the like button and also subscribe to this channel if you are new here. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.